talk about LPG, and I'm sure that you saw the, the thick crowds trying to grab LPG before the lockdown happened. Mm -hmm. What has changed? Prices, everything, uh, patronage? Bella. Well, yes, so, so, so we'll be speaking to Mr. Gabriel Kumi. He's the vice chairman of the LPG Marketers Association. And I remember that um, some time back, a few months ago, we had a conversation with them where they were asking governments to get rid of what they described as nuisance taxes mm. um, on LPG in order to allow more people to be able to patronize and to be able to use LPG, which is a cleaner form um, of, of cooking as well. And now we're hearing that the NPA announced a 13.5 Ghana Peswa um, per kilogram cylinder recovery levy, uh, which took effect from April 1st, 2020. And now the LPG Marketers Association are kicking against that as well. Mm. So Mr. Gabriel Kumi is on the line with us. Hello, good morning. Mr. Kumi, good morning. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. How are you doing? I'm good. All right. So first of all, can you give us some updates? Um, what led, if you have any idea, what led to the NP announcing the 13.5 peso per kilogram um, cylinder recovery levy, even though you had also um, clearly indicated that you needed government to take away the nuisance tax on LPG? Thank you very much, my sister. Um, before I proceed, I want to make two points very clear. Okay. The first point is that our current position has nothing to do with the cylinder recirculation government intends introducing. Mm -hmm. In fact, even though our members have some issues with the policy, we have decided to cooperate fully with NPA to ensure the implementation of that policy. Okay. The second point I want to make very clear is that uh, the LPG Marketing Companies Association of Ghana, our position on taxes on LPG is very well known. I think I came to your studio somewhere yes. last year and we had a wonderful conversation Absolutely. on that. So we, we have been, so for the past two years, we have been appealing to government to take away the existing taxes on the, on, on, on the product, to make mm -hmm. the product more affordable so we can get more, many more Ghanaians to use the product because we believe that the benefit this country is trying to gain by pushing up consumption of LPG, mm -hmm. far more outweigh the benefit we are gaining from these taxes. Okay. Having said that, let me commend our president and, and the media, and to your station in particular, for the effort you are making to educate Ghanaians on, 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 on the fight of, of this disease. Mm -hmm. The first president has been given a lot of freebies. He's given yeah. free electricity, free uh, water, and a lot of other things to yeah. ensure that the Ghanaian is more, much more comfortable. We were expecting that our regulator will follow the example of his excellency, the president, and look at ways of subsidizing LPG to ensure that LPG is more affordable because we believe that this is the time we need a lot of LPG at home. Children mm -hmm. are home. We are cooking three, four, five times a day and we use LPG at home to cook. Yeah. So we were expecting that our regulator will go follow the full stop of steps of his excellency, the president, and find ways of reducing the, the cost of LPG. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, we rather had a tax being introduced on the product last week. We believe that is most unfortunate. We believe the timing is so wrong. We believe that the Ghanaian does not deserve this at this point in time. We believe our president is more focused in, 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 in trying to protect his people, and we expect his appointees to follow his footsteps. You, you are saying that you believe the timing is wrong at this point. In this case, why do you indicate that? Is it for the Marketers Association, or are you speaking in favor of the people who actually purchase um, you know, the LPG? The, the, this tax is, 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 is the incident of this tax is directly on the consumer. Is the consumer who is going to pay the tax? We believe that the consumer is already paying more taxes on LPG. In mm -hmm. fact, uh, we have done some research, and we don't know of any country that tax LPG as much as we do. Mm. Indeed, if you look at the West Africa South region, all the countries around us are indeed subsidizing LPG. But in Ghana, we already have about 20, over 20% 20 tax on LPG. That is why for the past two years, the LPG Marketing Companies Association have been appealing to government. Mm -hmm. Even if they, they are not going to subsidize it, they should take off the taxes so okay. that the product is more affordable. So we find it very, very, very difficult to reconcile that. 
with the calm constraint of our regulator that is, they are going to introduce a new tax, and indeed they have introduced a new tax on the product. We think that is most unfortunate. This is the time we should find ways of rather making the product cheaper and making it more affordable in line with our president's thinking to make basic commodities more affordable and available to every Ghanaian in these difficult times. All right. Mr. Kumi, could it be that the reason they introduced this new levy, um, the amount, is so that they can effectively roll out the CRM um, you know, policy? And so if you're saying that you are not against the cylinder recirculation model, uh, yet you are speaking against the money that might be used to make this policy uh, possible, then what other options are you giving them? Are you coming up with other innovative ways? question, my sister. We have been at the implementation committee. We have collaborated very effectively with NTA, and we have given very concrete suggestions mm. as to how we can fund the cylinders for the cylinder recirculation. For instance, if you look on the price build-up of LPG, there is a 50 pesos, peso, 50 peso, 5 pesos per kilo margin that Ghanaians have been paying, and that is meant for LPG promotion. Mm -hmm. Ghanaians have been paying that margin for the past 20 years. We have no idea what that money is being used for. That 5 pesos per kilo currently in about 1.2 million cities a month. Okay. We believe when we go into that fund, we should be able to find more than enough money to, to, to sponsor this cylinder recirculation agenda of government. We mm -hmm. believe the government objective of trying to increase access and penetration of LPG from the current 25% to 50% is a very laudable one. Yeah. But you also know that LPG is a product with an elastic demand. What if you want that more patronage? What you rather need to do is to reduce prices, bring prices down, so you can attract a lot of people into the consumption net. So government own objective of trying to increase assets and penetration from 25 to 50% by the year 2020 mm -hmm. could be achieved. But we see this move to introduce new taxes on the product as an act which is contrary to what government intends to do. You cannot eat your cake and have it. Mm -hmm. You can't at one breath expect, uh, 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 set a target to increase consumption of a basic product, a mass product like the LPG, and at the same time, you expect to increase the, you are increasing the prices to taxation. We okay. believe the truth does not work. We have suggested very, very, very... The second suggestion we've even put across the NPA is that they should look at the current taxes on the product. If you need to lower the current taxes so you can accommodate this new tax you are bringing us, so that it does not come out as an additional cost to the consumer, we believe these suggestions could be looked at. Are you so saying that then that ever the since... Consumer further. Okay, are you saying that ever since you started um, advocating for the nuisance tax to be taken off the LPG, government has not done anything about it at all? Not at all. As we speak to you now, the taxes are still on it. As I did indicate, this is one of the nuisance taxes government hasn't, that has not attracted the attention of his, the finance minister. And unfortunately, an additional nuisance tax is going to be added to the product. We think that is unfortunate. And we are calling on our regulator that at a matter of agency, this, this, especially this, this, this uh, latest task should be removed from the product. Our membership is so angry. Okay. We are in very difficult times. Mm. We don't want to take any action to further compound the problems we are having. All right. We are appealing to our regulator to, as a matter of agency, remove it. We leadership is trying to suppress our membership, but we cannot, we cannot suppress the cork under the water forever. So these suggestions that you've put out, has the NPA responded to it? Have they indicated that they might do something about it? Yes, they haven't. That is that is what even baffles us because we are at the at the implement at the at the negotiating table. We have put up this suggestion. This suggestion was 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 put up at the subcommittee level. We haven't even taken this to the main implementation committee for discussion. Okay. All of a sudden, what we hear is that the the the, 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 the tax has been slapped, All and right. we believe that is unfortunate. Well, we understand COPEC and another organization have sued an NPA over okay. this tax. When we read the rate, yeah. it's, they are telling us that this tax does not even go to Parliament. Our checks at, 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 at the Energy Committee in Parliament show that this has not come to Parliament. Okay.
All right. you believe this is a tax, you can describe it as you can use that one to give any description. But this is a tax you and I are going to pay. All this right. is a tax our, 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 our poor parents, our mothers in our villages are going to pay this. All right. Think that is All right. so unfair to the Ghanaian consumer. Thank, thank you so much, Mr. Gabriel Kumi. Uh, thank you for speaking to us, and we hope that. Um, as we have discussed this, something can be done about it. And hopefully we can get some more updates from you later. He's a vice chairman of the LPG Marketers Association of Ghana, who are speaking against this new um, tax that has been introduced, aside the 25% tax that already exists mm. on the LPG. I, 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 I want to know also if we have enough supplies, mm -hmm. um, you know, in these lockdown yeah. days, do we have yeah. enough supplies? Mm -hmm. Very good because we are, people can't go out. The charcoal seller right. won't be there. Mm -hmm. Do we have enough supplies yeah. to sustain us for cooking and hmm. and all of that? The timing is wrong. The timing for the levy is wrong. Yeah. 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 So I think I mean their concerns are legitimate. Yeah. Definitely. At this point, look. At, at this point, I don't think that, and I will always side with Doctor Leticia Pia. When, what she said. She said. The symptom of the economy is the health of the people. Mm -hmm. The symptom of the economy is the health of the people. It's only healthy people who pay taxes. Mm -hmm. So if at this point the focus is not about salvaging the people mm -hmm. and keeping their health in great check and ec with thinking economics, when we're done with that, yeah. if the people are not there, who pays their taxes? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Who, no, who will pay their taxes? Nobody will pay their taxes.